And I know you say you want e e like pretty much everybody, but specifically, who do you want the most? Everybody. I don't got no the highly anticipated return of Gervonta Tank Davis to the boxing ring is set to ignite fireworks as the Baltimore native faces off against WBA super featherweight champion Lamont Roach in what promises to be an explosive December bout. The clash between the lightweight sensation and the determined challenger has stirred up intense emotions, particularly after a heated face-off between the two fighters. Despite some fans expressing skepticism about the matchup, especially with Roach coming from a lighter weight division, many are predicting a potential upset, one that could send shockwaves through the boxing world. Roach, hailing from Washington, D.C., has made it clear that he's not approaching this fight as an underdog. He's promised to come at Davis with full force, challenging the lightweight champion like none of his previous opponents have. With a career record boasting 30 knockouts, most fans expect Davis to extend his unbeaten streak. His devastating power in the ring has left most of his opponents staring up at the lights by the end of their fights. Roach, however, remains confident that he possesses the skill and mindset to derail the tank. A title unification clash like this creates a tense atmosphere, and the lead-up has been no different. Both fighters have exchanged words, with Roach promising to deliver a performance unlike any Davis has seen. He firmly believes he's got what it takes to not only survive Davis's knockout power, but to emerge victorious by outsmarting him in the ring. The Baltimore-Washington rivalry adds an extra layer of intensity to the encounter, heightening the excitement for boxing fans, especially those in the region. For Davis, this fight comes as a rare opportunity to fight twice in one year, a return to form for the fighter who has faced legal issues and setbacks over the past year. In June, Davis returned to the ring after a brief hiatus, securing a brutal knockout against Frank Martin in the eighth round. That victory solidified his position as one of boxing's most fearsome punchers. Now, Davis is looking to put on an even more impressive performance against Roach. While Roach is viewed by many as a formidable but overmatched opponent, Davis cannot afford to underestimate him. As former boxer and commentator Polly Malignaggi pointed out, Roach may not have the notoriety of some of Davis's past opponents, but he's a skilled fighter capable of turning the tide. Malignaggi believes Roach's only path to victory lies in outboxing Davis early, stacking up rounds before Davis can unleash his power. If Roach can disrupt Davis's rhythm and avoid the knockout punches that have derailed many before him, he could surprise the world. However, the odds remain firmly in favor of Davis, with analysts predicting yet another knockout. As Malignaggi remarked, if Roach manages to pull off the win, it would be the upset of the year. But considering Davis's track record, most expect the fight to end with Roach on the canvas, making Davis the victor once again. For Roach, this fight is more than just a title opportunity, it's a chance to build his name and solidify his standing in the boxing world. Roach knows that Davis is the bigger star, and that's precisely why defeating him would be so monumental. He has shown in past performances that he's a crafty and durable fighter, able to withstand punishment. If he can combine his defensive skills with a smart game plan, Roach may just find a way to shock Davis. The fight's location has been a point of speculation, with cities like Washington, D.C., Las Vegas, and Houston all being mentioned as possible venues. Davis himself hinted on social media that Houston might be the final destination for the bout, a decision that has generated plenty of buzz in the sports community. Stars like NBA player Yam Morant and NFL wide receiver Tank Dell have already weighed in on the fight, with Dell asking Davis to drown Roach in the ring. Even former heavyweight champion Riddick Bowe voiced his support, saying he plans to be at the fight to witness the action firsthand. This fight will likely take place on December 14th, though some initial reports suggested it could be December 21st. Scheduling the fight on the same day as the Usyk Fury rematch seems unlikely, 
as the event would compete with one of the biggest heavyweight bouts in recent history. December 14th appears to be the more likely date for what could be Davis's final fight of the year. As the fight approaches, Davis's past continues to cast a shadow over his career. The lightweight champion has faced legal issues, including time in detention earlier this year following a guilty plea in a case stemming from a 2020 car accident. Despite the off-the-ring distractions, Davis is focused on maintaining his dominance in the lightweight division and proving once again that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Although the matchup has drawn criticism for being a step down in competition for Davis, who many believe should be fighting bigger names in the lightweight division like Shocker Stevenson or Devin Haney, Davis is eager to showcase his skills against Roach. Davis's team, headed by renowned trainer Calvin Ford, is confident that their fighter will deliver yet another highlight reel performance, regardless of the opponent. Davis's rivalry with former promoter Floyd Mayweather has also made headlines in recent months. The two have traded shots on social media, with Davis even suggesting he could knock out his former mentor in the ring. While a Davis-Mayweather fight seems highly unlikely due to the age difference, the tension between the two has only added more drama to Davis's career. In addition to his feud with Mayweather, Davis has been involved in a public spat with Clarissa Shields, the undisputed women's world champion. The two exchanged barbs on social media after Davis criticized Devin Haney, a close friend of Shields. Shields responded by claiming that Davis had a personal issue with Haney, which led to a heated exchange between the two champions. Shields, not one to back down, even hinted that she might include a diss track aimed at Davis in a future song. Despite all the drama outside the ring, Gervonta Davis remains laser-focused on his fight against Roach. He's determined to prove once again why he's considered one of the most dangerous fighters in boxing today. The pressure is mounting for Davis to deliver a spectacular performance, and with Roach standing in his way, the stage is set for a thrilling showdown. Whether Roach can pull off the upset, or if Davis will add another knockout to his resume remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, when Gervonta Tank Davis steps into the ring, fans can expect fireworks. For more updates on the biggest events and moments in boxing, stay connected with us. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay informed about all the latest developments in the world of boxing. Until next time, stay tuned. The highly anticipated return of Gervonta Tank Davis to the boxing ring is set to ignite fireworks as the Baltimore native faces off against WBA super featherweight champion Lamont Roach in what promises to be an explosive December bout. The clash between the lightweight sensation and the determined challenger has stirred up intense emotions, particularly after a heated face-off between the two fighters. Despite some fans expressing skepticism about the matchup, especially with Roach coming from a lighter weight division, many are predicting a potential upset, one that could send shockwaves through the boxing world. Roach, hailing from Washington, D.C., has made it clear that he's not approaching this fight as an underdog. He's promised to come at Davis.